Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and in this video I'm going to talk about copy monitor feature in Revit. In the last video, we created a mechanical template, we linked our architecture model. If you cannot select your architecture model, the linked model, it's because here on the select, select links is not checked, so you can check it. Now you can select the link and if you had the hit tab, you can also select elements uh, in that linked model. Uh, so I'm going to go maybe to one of my elevations, maybe south elevation. Uh, see that here we see the elevations from the architecture model. And these are the elevations that exist in this mechanical model. So uh, today we're going to talk about collaborate copy monitor. Uh, the way it works is that we're going to copy monitor, let's say, the levels. So if the architect uh, change that, it's going to show us a notification about it. So how does it work? I'll go with copy monitor. I'm going to go with select the link. I'm going to select the linked model, which is the architecture model. I'm going to check the options. Uh, there are several options here. You can go through them. For now, I'm going to go with don't reuse. Uh, and I'm going to create my own levels here in mechanical. And maybe I can add a prefix like uh, A uh, underline uh, because I'm linking to the architecture levels. Uh, I'll hit OK. Uh, I'm going to go with copy. I'm going to go with multiple. And I'm going to select these levels 1, 2, 3, and 4. These are the levels from the architecture model. I'm going to hit finish. Uh, it's going to tell me that it changed the uh, metric level head symbol to match that's fine and as you see it actually it's monitoring them I'm gonna say finish okay uh, how about I just save and close this file for a second and I'm gonna open my architecture model and let's say in the architecture model we're gonna change uh, one of these uh, values for instance so I'm going to change the foundation to minus 1.9 maybe for now say on join elements this is just for demonstration uh, so I'm going to save this file and close it so I'll go with file close I'm going to open my mechanical model and this is what you get so uh, the good thing about copy monitor is when that monitored element which in this case is our level change it shows and shows a message i'll go to expand i'll go to warning and uh, maybe i can take a screenshot of this warning okay uh, and i'll hit just okay and when i go here you see that the foundation moved uh, in order to work with these items uh, we have an id here right how does it work I'm going to go with Manage, Select by ID, and I'm going to use this ID, 927166. So I'll put 927166, and it's going to select that ID, which in this case refers to the whole architecture model. If you have several models or several objects, this is going to be helpful. And now we see that it's actually... Um, it told us about it, so if we want to change this foundation level here too, uh, we need to change it from here. And now for my level 2 here, I can also set it to 3.1 to match with the architecture model. Uh, to sum up, what Copy Monitor does, it shows us a message each time the monitored object uh, has any changes in the source model. Uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe for more videos.